And here we are in the Belgian bar as usual, having a nice cup of tea. And uh, today I'm with Dan, otherwise known as Spiky D, who is a local producer and DJ. And we're going to talk about the usual stuff, uh, what's good about Thanet, what's not so good and uh, ideas and vision for the future yep. and uh, now and again we may possibly get Lucy chipping in although she said she didn't want to mm -hmm. but I'm sure as we get going you might want to Lucy <laughs> might do, might do. <laughs> right so let, let's begin uh, what, what, what things what, what, what are the good positive things do you think about oh, living in Thane so what, what keeps you here well, what keeps me here, I think it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the beach, I think it's the beach scene. I mean, we've got, we've got so many choices, haven't we? I mean, you know, we've got Mini Spain, Birchland, we, you know, we have Ramsgate here, Margate, West Bay, God, yeah, this is endless. I mean, that's, that's the main pull for me. Um, and uh, it, it brings a lot of tourism in the summer yeah. as well. Um, and also, you know, in, in Ramsgate here we have uh, the fishing industry as well, so that's good. That always brings in um, trade as well. So, um, I f I, yeah, I'd say the beach for me is the main draw, and I think it is for a lot of people. Yeah, that's why Fanet thrives. It certainly does, that's yeah. for sure. Some of the best beaches in the south of England, I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. biased, but I... <laughs> <laughs> and it's good to be biased. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we do have actually, and uh, a lot of people were very complimentary about the beaches we have uh, yeah. in Thanet. So yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a newcomer to uh, to Thanet. I've only been here eight years, so it hardly counts. <laughs> but uh, I, I, what struck me about this place, and I'd be interested to see what you've got to say about it, is yeah. is the community. There's some very passionate people yeah. who really care about where they live and what happens here. That's right. and, and I think you're probably one of them as well. What, what's your take on the the community here? Community, there's, there's a lot of people that, that always got. Some really really good ideas they're always buzzing you see them you know yeah. smile on their face a lot oh, i want to do this i want to do that uh, we can do this we can do that how can we put this into fruition how can this be done sort of yeah. thing a lot of people in Fanet have some really good ideas and when it's executed and when it's allowed by the powers that be yeah. it really works things go you know, the ball can start rumbling. Uh, I, I found that many people I've talked to, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a conception out there that, that, that Thanet's a, a dull and negative place and, and nothing ever goes right, yeah. which in some respects might be true. There is that sort but, of, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I always find everybody I talk to uh, a, a very upbeat about where they live yeah, yeah. And, and see a good future. I'd, I'd say so as well, really. Yeah. I mean, I've lived here all my 27 years. Um, I've grown up around here, born and bred in Planet. Um, yeah, I've seen it grow. I mean, there has been times, you know, where things haven't worked, but there's a, 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 out of bad comes good. Yeah, yeah. So something could stop, work, you know, working or something like that, or something. Could, uh, you know, and out of that can come something a lot better. Yeah. All the time. So there, there is positives to every negative. That's right. Yeah. And let, let's talk briefly about the negatives, and then we'll get on to the future. Yeah. What, 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 what are the the things that that, that, that you're not too keen about? I try not to focus on them too yeah. much. It yeah. is easy to bash fan it. I guess it because is, of yeah. the negativity. But uh, I'll say the the negative things about it is that. Uh, people, like I said about that, have so many ideas and they're stopped and they're halted uh, and they get disgruntled and they feel, well, what's the point? Yeah. They get yeah. very downbeat um, and then that, that kind of rubs off on other people. Yeah. And um, I think that's uh, quite a negative, really. Uh, and sometimes, like, you know, the council, you go with, go with an idea to them. Um, and everyone else, yeah, everyone gets behind it. Mm -hmm. And then they go, no, you can't do that. No, you're not allowed to do that. that that's not going to work. No, like that. Yeah. And you think, oh, yeah, what, what can we do? Yeah. Um, and I'd say that's that's a slight negative. Yeah. Sorry, I'm oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, we've frightened Lucy off. <laughs> Come back, Lucy. Come back. I'll edit out. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. Oh dear, what, what, what did you say wrong there? She's run off now, but I'm, I'm sure she'll be coming back. <laughs> but yeah, let, let, let's not dwell too much on, no. on, on the negative. No. I, I mean, the interesting thing I'd like to talk about is what do you see as, as 
the future? Is it a rosy future? Can things change? Can they get so. better? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think, for me, the, um, the music scene in Fanet, there is a music scene. Mm. Yes. Uh, people might not <laughs> think yeah, there is so because much, yeah. people are not allowed to really do much, if you know what I mean. You, know, you, mm. you, you get mm. um, events pop up or something like that, but there are very few and far between. Uh, Fanet doesn't really cater for every person kind of thing, but I reckon if, um, if, if people were listened to, things can, can become a really positive place around yeah. there, and that, I reckon yeah. that can work. It just needs people to listen, and it just needs, it just needs people uh, to, just, just to let people do their ideas. Yeah. It, it's funny because we were talking earlier before we started filming, and we, yeah. we did get quite a lot into talking about music. And, yeah. And creativity in Thanet. And yeah, yeah. I, I was quite surprised talking to you just how big the scene is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, could you take us through a little bit of what's happening at the moment? Uh, well, at the moment, there is, um, oh, there's going to be an event actually down in Ramsgate here um, in the summer. Um, that's going to be a good one. It's uh, you know, on the Friday, you've got like, a reggae uh, mm -hmm. event going on. Um, on the Saturday, you've got a uh, dance music event, event, so it's all day dance music. That's my thing, I absolutely love that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, Sunday, you've got like a live band kind of thing, um, and yeah, that, that's, that's something that needs to carry on each year. Yeah, there needs to be a lot more of that. And there is a lot kind of underground, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, if you dig mm -hmm. a lot deeper, um, instead of like the commercial kind of clubs and that kind of thing, there is a little scene going on, but you just have to dig a lot deeper to find, to find out more. And you can discover a lot more bands, a lot more artists, and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you could pop into a pub or a, a club somewhere, and they'd, they'd be playing, but you wouldn't know it. Do you see what I mean? It's yeah. very underground. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on. Really. Is, is there a way that can be expanded and promoted and developed? What is the things that could be done to make the music scene more accessible and? and um, well, I think, for starters, the, the Grosvenor Casino just over the road from yeah. Um I reckon that'd be a great place for like a... Wouldn't it just? <laughs> it, it was a great place for like Even a, an old man like me could be strutting his stuff down there. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, that'd be lovely. That'd be mental, <laughs> absolutely mental. I'd love that. I mean, we could have like a... It's quite a big place, so we could have like a nightclub there. Oh, it, yeah. Lucy's come back to join us. Welcome back, Lucy. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to edit. <laughs> Leave it in, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the um, Grosvenor would be a, a yeah. really good gig, wouldn't it? Yeah, so you could have like um, loads of DJ events going on, that kind of thing. You could have uh, bands as well on different nights. Um, you know, and cater for everyone. You could have them all under one roof. Yeah. I don't see why they don't do that. Because it, it makes, it, it's a no brainer to me if, you, if you've got events going on and. and, and DJs and, and performers that people want to see, you, you're gonna, the money's gonna come into the economy, yeah. it's gonna indirectly create jobs, mm. uh, and, it, and it seems like that there isn't that much going on, and mm. there could be a lot more. There could be a lot more, um, and I feel that if people, you know, the powers that be just let people loose with their ideas, yeah. it can, it can yeah. work. They shouldn't be frightened. That's, what, that's, how I, that's how I see it. So, uh, you know, sometimes people in, in Fanet, they're frightened. They've got ideas, but no, 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 that can't happen. But yeah. People should, people should be able to go with the flow and, you know, loose, do something. Your, your thing about loose with ideas mm. is, is brilliant because what, what, I mean, obviously you start off at school. Yeah. Oh no, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Cup of tea, lovely. <laughs> uh, you start off at school with a great passion and enthusiasm yeah. for music. I did when I was a yeah. kid. I mean, the best I ever managed were three, three chords on a guitar, and look where yeah. that got me. <laughs> but but uh, you, you get that passion, and these days, I mean, schools are full of computers and That's electronic right. music and yeah. so on, yeah. which. Uh, is, is a fantastic thing because it makes it more accessible mm. but <coughs> once you come out of school where do you go then what's available for you if you're a kid from Margate or Ramsgate mm. who loves his or her music yeah. what do you do? Well um, when, I, when I came out of school I finished school in 2003 there wasn't much I could really do to be honest um, 
I mean, I went to uh, Pie Factory Music, which is a local, um, like a youth kind of thing, you know, to do yeah. music, and uh, that was brilliant. Um, I managed to start going there a couple of years after I left school when I found out about it, and um, I just started messing around with sounds about ten years ago. Just started making beats, that kind of thing, on a computer, and um, I went, I went to them and uh, Pie Factory Music, and they they helped me. Mm. to construct mm -hmm. tracks and all that and I was still young at the time and I, I really got into it and that, that was a great thing no. to do that is and it's yeah. helped a lot of MCs that kind of thing as well I mean we've got Spooker, MC Spooker a lot of people have heard of him he's doing really well for himself you've got Mike Righteous he's, he's really he's smashing it he's everywhere it's, it's really good um, and, they, and they come from Margate and Ramsgate yeah. they, they went to Pie Factory it's really good Pie Factory is a legend and I, I, I've got to meet the legend who runs it and interview him soon. So oh, if you're if you're listening to this Pie Factory legend, your name is on my list, and I'm coming to see you. They're, they're a good bunch of people. I, um, I'm not I'm not sure what they're doing now. I think they're, they're still around, aren't they? Uh, but yeah, mm. for any, mm. anyone the other age, like teenage years or anything like that, um, just coming out of school, give them a try. If you've got that passion for music, give it a try. And, and one, one thing, I, and one thing I'm learning talking to you this morning. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just uh, an old bald-headed fat counsellor, uh, probably probably too too old to be taking social responsibility. <laughs> but listening to what you guys have been saying about music and community, yeah. uh, and listening to what's been said about the pie factory, especially, and how many yeah. people have had a start in life from yeah. there, it really makes sense that the council or Kent County Council or whoever mm. should be yeah. backing organisations sure. like that because mm. it's a passport to talented kids exactly. to get on with life and That's right. there just doesn't seem to be enough opportunities and organisations around there isn't. and space. No that's right I mean if you have like a big passion for music like I do you really got to push yourself you really got to keep knocking on them doors until people take notice. Yeah um, yeah. I mean uh, I've had uh, I've been releasing music for the last couple of years now on a couple of record labels and uh, yeah, for me that's, that's really good, I, 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 that, that passion shines through kind of thing, comes out of my music and people enjoy it and uh, I've had a couple of um, plays on Radio 1 as well, so wow. that's, that's really good. Um, and yeah, that, that's the positive side to it, so what you've what you got to do, I'd say, is uh, any local musicians here in Fanny, is to keep pushing, uh, mm. don't give up, mm. uh, if you think you get to the point where, oh, what's the point? Don't, don't think like that, think, keep thinking positive. Yeah. Like I said earlier in the film, um, out of bad comes good. Yeah. There's always a positive to everything. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, so you, you've got an upbeat vision for young people. Yeah. Keep trying, yeah. don't be put off, yeah. and um, maybe more support yeah. to, to give people that, that leg up in, in, in life. Yeah. yeah, as I say, just go in through the back door. If someone goes, no, you can't do that, see ya, in through the back door. That's brilliant. <laughs> Well, thanks ever so much for your time. That's all right. I'll try to edit this. Okay. But whether or not it works, I don't know. <laughs> thanks ever so much, Sparky, right. aka Dan. And I'm going to be looking forward to seeing your gig at the Community Festival in Ramsgate on Maybank holiday. Cheers. Cheers.